Hello, everyone, and welcome to Van Tech Corner. A few months ago, I introduced the Geo iNet Fling 2 router, together with the performance such as Ethernet and Wi-Fi throughput. Some of you are interested in the network storage performance, so in this video, we will configure network storage with an external USB 3.0 NVMe disk and see what a throughput the Fling 2 can offer. For the test, I used the Oracle M.2 and Vietnamese SATA dual protocol SSD enclosure. According to the specs, it is using the Rautex RTL9210B CG chip and supports up to 10 gigabit per second throughput. For the disk, it will acquire SAS 128 gigabytes NVMe SSD model KBG40ZNS. 128G. Before we jump into the test with the Fling 2, let's check out the disk benchmark using a Windows computer. The disk is directly connected to my USB 3 port. The test was done with NTFS format, and here is the result. Sequential reads 457 megabyte per second. Sequential write 372 megabyte per second. Random 4K with 1Q1 thread, 21.22 MB per second, and random 4K write, 31.25 MB per second. That is good. Now, I will connect the NVMe SSD to Fling 2 using the USB cable. For this test, the Fling 2 was running firmware version 4.6.2, which is based on OpenWRT21. Configure network storage is simple with GeoINet GUI. You can see that the disk is detected and we don't need to mount it manually. First, let's enable Samba and hit apply. And then, go to share folder, give it a share name and create a username and password for read and write. Very well, it is ready. Now, let's go to Windows Explorer to mount the share writes at the network write. We will be running Crystal this smart application with Fling2 Web UI in order to see the CPU uses. Thing is running, we can see that the traffic is passing by the network interface. The Fling2 CPU uses reach 10% and the memory uses almost reach 100%. However, taking a close look at the memory, we can see that 73 of the memory is cached. The test is done, and here is the result. Sequential read 126 MB per second. Sequential write 125 MB per second. Random 4K read with 1Q1 thread 7.42 MB per second. Random 4K write 1 thread 1Q is 6.6 .6 MB per second. We can see that the speed is far too low compared to the result when the disk is directly connected to the PC. It could be the NTFS format which caused the issue. Now, I will clean the disk and change the format to EXT4. If you don't know how to do this, please have a look at my blog, set up file sharing on OpenLurt with Samba 4. I will fast forward in this part. Now, the disk is detected at EXT4. I will repeat the same setup to enable network storage and we will be checked out the disk benchmark in a second. With EXT4 format, we can see that the result is much more better. Sequential rate is 292 MB per second and sequential rise is 178 MB per second. Random 4K read and write with 1Q1 thread remain the same, it is around 7 MB per second. However, we can see that random 4K with 32Q and 16 threads will improve. That will be all for this video. I hope it will be useful for you and I will share the crystal math test results on my website. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.